Dear Uncle Bumble um, uh, Strumpf, uh, Uncle Bumble Strumpf, this is a uh, curious mark from the inner tube, and I was wondering if you could machine one of these things, one of these uh, helical gears. Focus, you. Uh, because we need one to repair our uh, transmitter distributor. So this was designed in the 1930s and it transforms uh, bits in the tapes, these little holes, into real electrical bits. Uh, so you can then send them uh, to tilt up machines like, uh, like we have here. Actually, we have already restored one that works, so this one is functioning. You can see it's transmitting its uh, stuff. But this one over here is not. Garbage. Okay, so you're transmitting something, but it's garbage. You know, the, the question might be is it a different speed? So she is choosing too fast. And she's choosing too fast because we have the wrong gear in that one. So there's a set of two gears, uh, and we have we have found the, r the right one for the uh, for the mesh gear, but we don't have the right worm gear. And of course, teletype won't send us any from the 1930s. So the traditional way to do this would be on on a laser on a mill. And uh, you now I have a mill which is as useful to me as an osmeloscope in the type of restorations I do. Uh, but mine is manual, so obviously the issue is that you would have to turn this at the same time as you advance uh, to make the helix, and of course you can't do this by hand. Uh, so a, a CNC machine would be the ideal way to do this. Uh, and the word has it that you have a, a brand spanking new one. Uh, mind you, it's still going to be challenging. Uh, is all kind of uh, angle wizardry and you need a special cutting tool. So we thought that would be a good, uh, interesting challenge for your new machine. And uh, if you were not uh, convinced already, I want to show you that even the Canadian Indies use this machine uh, to transmit very important things like, uh, for example, sightings of UFOs. So see, you could even help the Canadian forces to report uh, sightings of uh, UFOs in, in Halifax. 